they've come up with their pledge for America. It's tax cuts, tax cuts, etc. But uh, it also has uh, statements on the Tenth Amendment. Uh, they now pretend to care about the Constitution. The Fourth Amendment apparently is irrelevant to them. They're wishy-washy on the First Amendment a lot of times. But the Tenth Amendment! Okay, so what's, who, what's their statement? So here's what it says in the pledge. We pledge to honor the Constitution as constructed by its framers and honor the original tenth, uh, intent of those precepts that have been consistently ignored, particularly the Tenth Amendment, which grants that all powers not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to the states, are reserved to the states respectively or to the people. They're right about that. That's what the Tenth Amendment says. They got it. So they say, if something is not specifically allowed in the Constitution, meaning uh, if co the Constitution does not say you can provide health care, then it is not allowed because of the Tenth Amendment. Because the Tenth Amendment says uh, all the rights are, that are not enumerated and that then go to the people or the states, right? That sounds like a pretty good argument if you don't know anything else about the Constitution. But here's the problem. We read the rest of the Constitution. You want to know what it says in Article 1? You know, Article 1 might be kind of important. That's what Congress can and can't do. It says that Congress has broad authority to, quote, pay the debts and provide for the common defense and general welfare of the United States. So these idiot tenthers, and they're all mental about this. I've seen them in the rallies. We've shown you the clips. They're like, Constitution, Tenth Amendment! <laughs> Joe Miller's talking about this, and he, he literally said in a clip we played yesterday, Oh, you know, there's nothing in the Constitution about general welfare of the... What do you mean? It says right here, it, it, they have broad authority to pay the debts and provide for the general welfare of the United States. That's what Congress's job is. Every court in our history has looked at that and said, obviously, Congress has the right to pass these laws. But the problem is conservatives don't like any of these laws. They don't want a social safety net. They don't want Social Security. They don't want Medicare. They don't want any of this stuff. All they want is more defense spending and more tax cuts for the rich. So they don't like any of the laws passed by Congress. So they go, oh, Tenth Amendment. Now, to, to give you a little bit more context, because they keep talking about the Founding Fathers, right? You know, there actually was a debate among the Founding Fathers as to whether, you know, the Congress had authority to pass laws uh, that, you know, we're going to get general welfare, et cetera, even though it's in Article One, it's as clear as day, but there was a debate beforehand, right? So Madison and Hamilton were on two different sides of it. Now, James Madison wrote the Constitution, right? And he actually wanted to limit Congress's power more. But guess who won the debate? Alexander Hamilton did. And for example, he wanted to push for a, a national bank. And Madison didn't like that. But you know who uh, George Washington went with? He went with Hamilton, and he signed the bill for the national bank. That side clearly won. Now, the victory was so overwhelming that by the time James Madison was president, he had conceded and he signed a very similar bill for a national bank. There was no ands, ifs, or buts about it. The Congress agreed. Even J James Madison eventually agreed. The Founding Fathers agreed. All the courts in, uh, in our entire United States history have agreed. Congress can pass laws for the general welfare, and sometimes that involves money. Sometimes that sets, involves setting up new branches of government, you know, whether it's a national bank, whether it's social security, etc. This has been adjudicated, decided, it's not an open question, except in the mental minds of the Republican Party. Now when the Tenthers first came around, they were dismissed like, oh, fuck a bunch of kooks, they don't know anything about U.S. history. They don't know a thing about it, because none of it is factual, right? But now it's in the pledge of the Republican Party. It's one of their basic tenets. The lunatics have taken over the asylum. I mean, you could take that and then apply it to anything, anything. You could say, oh, no, no. it says they can provide for the general welfare. It also says they can provide for the common defense. But I think the Tenth Amendment says they can't provide for the common defense. I think the Pentagon is unconstitutional. If we're not wedded to facts anymore, I suppose you could say any of the damn thing you like. I think what part, part of what drives me crazy and why I get animated about it is that the media keeps treating it like two sides of a coin. Well, Democrats say this, Republicans say this. Well, this is not effing true, okay? I mean, your job is to report the truth. What, what, why are we having this conversation? The media should look at this and go, Republicans have lost their minds. 
They're not attached to facts anymore. Their argument is idiotic, moronic, ridiculous, absurd, completely untrue. Instead, you will, if you hear this being talked about at all, you will hear in the mainstream media, the Republicans say this, the Democrats say that. Weak, lazy, terrible journalism.